Yes, boxing fans, Chris Chapman here for another instalment of Matthias on Boxing. Hit like, hit subscribe, and keep the opinions flowing in the comments below. Today, we're going to preview the WBC Middleweight Championship contest taking place on the 19th of June between defending champion Jamal Charlo and Mexican challenger Juan Montiel. So, boxing fans, let's check the tail of the tape, starting with the champion, Jamal Charlo. So, Charlo comes into the contest, age 31, standing six foot tall with a 73 and a half inch reach. He boxes out of the orthodox stance and brings an outstanding 31 0 record with 22 big wins coming by way of knockout or stoppage. The challenger, Juan Montiel, has the advantage in age being 27 years old and is six foot one inches tall with a 74 inch reach so he has slight advantages here too he also boxes out of the orthodox stance his record however does does make you question if he will be able to make these advantages count he brings a 28 fight record with 22 wins four defeats and two draws so looking at this Premier Boxing Champions main event, my first question is how does beating a massively shop-worn James Kirkland earn Montiel a title shot? Well, in this boxing fan's opinion, it's a combination of the WBC happy to gobble up another sanctioning fee while towing the PBC line. The PBC are notorious for this. They're happy to allow their fighters to fight not always the best level of opposition, whether it's biding time, as long as it's under the PBC banner and done in-house, that seems to be a good thing by PBC standards. Keep it in-house, doesn't matter about the level of opponent. And I think this fight, unfortunately, falls into that cat category because there's no doubting how talented both Charlos are, but in particular, middleweight Jamal. The breakdown of this fight is simple. It will end when Charlo wants it to. Montiel has been stopped at £147 against uh, Jaime Munguia back in 2017, and he will not be able to stand up to the scything shots, which will inevitably come from Charlo. Charlo's got, in my opinion, one of the best uppercuts in this modern era of boxing. It's a beautiful thing when he throws it and connects. They share a common opponent in fellow PBC middleweight Hugo Santano Jr. Montiel was uh, held to a draw while Charlo scored a second round KO. It, it's not only that this common opponent where you can take the measure of this fight. From what I have seen of Montiel, he's going to be too stand up ish. He's not going to have any variety, which is going to trouble Charlo here. So I just can't see this fight in a comp being competitive in many ways. Like I say, I can't see it being competitive because Charlo has the jab, the killer uppercut, as I mentioned, the better levels of opponent. And I just cannot make a case for Montiel in this fight. And I expect a brutal finish within four rounds in favor of the champion. I can't see it any other way. Montiel will be brave and he will try to bull rush Charlo, but will soon be tamed and stopped. If I'm honest, as I've mentioned, probably, and you've probably got the gist of my feelings throughout this um, video, this fight highlights um, one of the big issues I have with the PBC and how they promote fights and in turn promote the sport of boxing. PBC, they just seem very unwilling to work with others, and it's not only them. Top rank are guilty of this as well. Certainly see that. Here in the UK, we know how hard um, it's been to see any crossover between uh, Queensbury and Matchroom. But I believe PBC's approach leads to a stagnation in fighters, such as the Gary Russell Jr., who gets out once a year, and also the lack of meaningful unifications in divisions they do not control. We all know. It's because of PBC's standoff with uh, top rank. We're not going to see Spence and Crawford. However appealing Spence and Pacquiao is, we want to see the best be the best unify. And I just feel PBC so often stand in the way of getting these big fights on because of their tactics 
of sometimes paying fighters for not even fighting. It's uh, quite unbelievable. So it's like we all know that um, Charlo should be seeking out Golovkin or Andrade. But the fact that they're on the zone tells me that Al Heyman and PBC won't make a deal and Charlo will have to feast on more B-grade opponents. And I just wonder, is that good enough? Should we as boxing fans really accept that anymore when we've got like the UFC, you know, week after week producing shows which are gaining eyeballs? Do we want boxing to stagnate? It's just because... And my my feelings on this and why I'm trying to get this out is because I just feel that Charlo is better than this. Uh, and other, there are other fighters in the stable with him who I think are better than what, you know, opposition they get to face. Um, and I just do hope I'm wrong and that Jamal does get himself a unification fight at middleweight next, if only to keep up with his twin brother Jamal, who I'll be covering soon as well. So in closing, boxing fans, as always, thank you for tuning in to Matthias Unboxing. Uh, if you haven't already, hit like, hit subscribe. And this has been Chris Chapman. Thanks for listening. See you soon, boxing fans.